Hi, my name is Eric Michael Lloyd. I have a master's in clinical psychology, neuropsychology concentration. Uh, I'd like to read an article. This is um, from Active Learning and Political Science. This one was pretty exciting. It uh, got me excited because it uh, talks about um, problem-based learning or um, I would assume that it has to do with problem solving strategies, which is a, a realm of psychology and clinical psychology and treatment as well. This one made possible in part by uh, Sumo Learning. This is about problem solving. This one's called Teaching with Trump, a challenge and an invitation to problem-based learning. This article was published June 5th, 2017. Kramen. Our series on teaching Trump continues today with a guest post by Martin S. Edwards, Associate Professor and Director of Graduate Studies at the School of Diplomacy and International Relations, Sutton Hall University. He can be reached at martin.edwards at shu.edu. Teaching in a professional international affairs program offers some unique challenges. The focus at the graduate level is on professional skill development rather than preparing students for comprehensive examinations. And our students come from a wide variety of disciplines rather than as political science undergraduates. The election brought a unique challenge for those of us that teach international organizations. It made clear that we need to better train students to speak up in defense of multi Lateralism, especially at a time in which the White House is suspicious of it. So, given the current climate in which the White House is openly dismissive of the value of the United Nations, the World Trade Organization, the international financial institutions, and NATO, how can one rethink an established course so as to determine its relevance? My approach to teaching with Trump during the spring semester was to refocus my graduate course on problem-based learning. Continue reading. The main deliverable in the class is ordinarily a research design. This assignment does strengthen student skills in developing an empirical research question, but it is rather ill-suited for the challenge of the new administration and it reinforces existing skills rather than adds new ones. The problem-based learning assignment that I have developed was based on works of Pacheco Vega, 2010, and Bardock, 2011. I let students choose a teammate, and working in teams of two, they were randomly assigned an international organization. Their task over the semester was the following. Identify a challenge that the international organization faces that is a barrier to its effectiveness. Develop at, at least two alternative strategies to address this problem. Outline the costs and benefits of each potential strategy. Advocate one and discuss how it can best be implemented. Personally, I think this is good just for strategic thinking and problem solving in general. They developed this project, which took the form of a 15-page paper incrementally. Student teams initially submitted an initial annotated bibliography, which helped them identify the barrier that the organization faces. Following submission of the 15-page paper, they distilled their argument into an 800-word blog post, which they posted on a class WordPress site. To guard against free writing, Students submitted a written evaluation of each other's contributions at the close of the semester, which counted up to 15%, up to 5% of their final grade. Overall, the new assignment was a real success. I asked two additional questions in my teaching evaluations to assess whether and how the new assignment made a difference. One asked if the policy analysis project helped students make better connections with the course material and one asked if it helped students develop additional skills. 
Students answered both questions positively. Better connections, 87% yes, 13% no. Additional skills, 82% yes, 17% no. One of the student op-eds has already been published, and there are potentially more to follow over the summer. Students felt that the contrast between our more theoretical readings and the deep dive nature of this assignment meant that they had to use our readings as a toolkit to help unpack their organization. This is a fruitful development that helps students to better appreciate the value of IR theory. Rather than being told that theory is important, students learned on a granular level how theory can matter. Students also referenced new skills such as collaborative writing, team building, op-ed writing, critical thinking, and exposure to policy analysis. Many of these skills would not have been strengthened with a research design assignment. The evidence suggests a real value added from this problem-based learning assignment, and I'll be looking to refine it in the coming year. So it does have links here to the rest of the uh, Trump, the Teaching Trump series. These are all activelearning.com. I thought this was interesting, and it's a short read. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and it uh, stimulates uh, positive and fruitful, positive uh, problem-solving communication and uh, decision-making. Thank you.